Welcome to Sometime 5. Today we're working with page 36. And today's lesson is called Measurement. We're going to talk about units of measurement. Some people use meters and centimeters to measure. Others use feet and inches. Let's look at feet and inches first. It's easy to multiply two feet by six. It's simply two times six, and two times six is twelve. Multiplying two feet seven inches is a little more complicated. Now remember, twelve inches make one foot. There are two ways to solve a problem like this. This is the first way. This is the problem. Six times two feet seven inches. Let's take the inches first. Six times seven inches, six times seven, that's forty-two inches. Remember, twelve inches make a foot. So 42 inches divided by 12, that gives us 3 feet 6 inches. Because 3 times 12 are 36, and there are 6 inches left over. 3 feet 6 inches. So now we've dealt with the inches. Let's look at the feet. 6 times 2 feet, that's 12 feet. And we already know that 6 times 7 inches, that's 3 feet 6 inches. We add them together and we get 15 feet 6 inches. So 6 times 2 feet 7 inches equals 15 feet 6 inches. Let's solve the problem another way. It's the same problem. 6 times 2 feet 7 inches. Remember, 12 inches make a foot. So 2 feet 7 inches is the same as 2 and 7 twelfths. Let's make that into twelfths. 2 times 12 is 24, plus 7 is 31. So 2 feet 7 inches is the same as 2 and 7 twelfths, is the same as 31 twelfths. Now let's multiply 31 twelfths by 6. First, we simplify it. We have 6 and we have 12. So that's 1 and 2. So now we get 31 over 2. 31 over 2 equals 15 and a half. 15 and a half is the same as 15 feet 6 inches. So no matter which way we choose, we get the same answer. 6 times 2 feet 7 inches equals 15 feet 6 inches. That's all for today. See you again soon.